Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the U Normal Map node. So we're going to jump into Fusion and we've got our little setup here that we've been uh, using with our uh, cube USD file brought in and uh, we're going to cover textures and shading and more specifically today the U Normal Map. So let's go ahead and uh, swap out our texture here so first we need a u replace material node that way we can replace these materials on our usd file here and we're going to bring in a u shader which i know we haven't gone over yet but uh we will i believe tomorrow and to swap out our textures we need a u texture and since we're going to be discussing normals today, I'm going to go ahead and bring in a normal. So on our U texture, we covered this uh, the other day. I'm going to browse and I'm going to find a normal map. So this is a normal map. I'll go ahead and bring it in. And before we uh, plug anything in, I'm going to go to my shader. I'm going to switch this to material X. So we're using material X shaders. I'm going to right click, let go and select normal and then go ahead and bring this into our replace material. And you'll see we've got some uh, normal maps going now on our shader node or our texture node. We don't have the option to change any of uh, the settings for our normal map, meaning uh, change the height or how it's interacting with light. To be able to do that, we need the U normal map node. So we're going to go ahead and search for U normal map and bring that in. Now on our normal map, we have two normal spaces that we can use either the tangent, which is going to be using basically the world and how it's set up on our uh, little USD file here, or we can use object and it's going to base it off the normals of the object. Now, once we base it off the normals of the object, you can see we just lost the ability to change our scaling. And additionally, any transforms we do really aren't going to take effect. It's just kind of fixing any issues there might be just automatically. So to be able to actually change anything, we're going to leave this on tangent. And now under the tangent, we can change our scale of our normals. So as you see, if I put this on zero, we have no normals happening. And if I raise it, or lower it, it'll change the scale up or down. Additionally, we can come in this transform, we can transform it, but you're not going to see anything on these transforms. And uh, to see what's happening, let's go ahead and uh, look at our normal map here. Let's go back to our controls and we can look at our scale and see what it's doing to our normal map. And if we go to our transforms, you can see it's going to be transforming our normal map but not making any changes to our actual uh, normals on our object. Now this node is only able to be used between your texture and your shader node. You can't place it anywhere else. Additionally, this node is meant to have a normal input, meaning your normal file that we brought in to uh, operate. However, you can use regular files. It's not going to change your file into a normal, but uh, if we just disconnect this and let's uh, go straight from our texture and we are still plugged into our normal. But if I go here and browse for just a regular, say albedo color texture, you can see it's doing something to our normals, not what we really want, but it's doing something to our normals. So you can use normal stuff for say different looks that you want. So we could come into our shader, which I know we haven't covered. We can change the color and we can change the metalness of it to change that look. And if we go to our normal map and we plug it in, we can make changes to that scale. So we can use normal images not normals, but regular RGB images. So this technically should be in sRGB, but we can use normal images to affect the look of our shaders. 
but that's just not how it's meant to operate. It is meant to operate with a normal map. So that is the U normal map node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.